In our final trade of the day, Todd Bubba Horwitz joins me now for Stacking Up, and he's taking a look at a financial stock. It's a big week for financials reporting in with earnings, so thanks for coming on the show. Final trade, final, so final, oh my God. <laughs> oh yes, this is the big finish. Yeah, yeah. This is where you really like yeah. make it happen. Uh, I think uh, you have to take a look at American Express. I mean, we, we, we've had, there's a lot of underlying things going on around here. We've got uh, a hope that Dodd Frank and all those other regulations will be cut back. But what we've seen is we've seen a little bit of disappointment. We saw Goldman Sachs yesterday get hurt and hammered pretty good on earnings. We saw JP Morgan not do real well on earnings. But now I, I think what we've seen is we've seen these companies have now priced it in. And the nice thing about American Express, it's got the other component, which is the credit card, which is where they, they get real legitimate rates when they're charging. And I think you know somewhere around the 75 level is a great area to step in and buy American Express as a long-term hold. I think it's a great company. It's got a great business model. And of course, Warren Buffett owns it too. So why not step in to what we think is a great model that has the added component of being able to actually lend money through their credit cards and get a very high rate on, on rates. So I think that, you know, 75 is a great level. Stock is going to move off after earnings, which are after the close. And I think that's what we want to look for. So I love that you brought up the banking regulations because that is something traders are really excited about. Maybe not Main Street America, but traders and people in the financial world want less regulations. Yeah. It's just how the game is played for them. So when you see a name like Goldman Sachs, Bank of America, JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs really was hit hard yesterday. Yeah. Is it now a buy? Because this is definitely a company that benefits from 100%. less regulation. It's, it's probably close to a buy. As we know from buy. the housing crisis. It's, it's probably close in the area. You know, I think, I think the problem we have here, I think we have a market in general that is probably just a little bit overvalued. I think there's probably a little bit more selling to come in play. I mean, Goldman Sachs, if you tell me you're going to buy it and hold it for the next 10 years, yeah, it's a buy today. It doesn't matter. But if you're looking to try to pick the absolute bottom, it probably has a little bit more room to come on the downside. You know, they, the financials made a very big move, you know, off of the election and off of the, we're going to get rid of these regulations because the regulations in general are very tough on the banks, but they're really tough on the smaller banks. And we need to, you know, clean some of this up so that everybody can compete, which brings back free markets and price discovery for everybody. So it makes it better for you and me. Tad Bubba Horowitz telling it like it is from the trading floor in the minds of traders. Thanks for Thank coming you. on the show. Appreciate it.